So there's been a lot of interest on the Pelican Eel on this channel, over 600,000 hits. And I wanted to give you some of the latest news, because new things are known about it, and there's some new theories in particular about how it feeds. Not to mention this amazing x-ray that I've uncovered, which shows the last meal of a pelican eel. And the new information about how it feeds, I've drawn some pictures of how it can manipulate its head and inflate its body. And it can turn its head into all sorts of amazing shapes. But first I've had a lot of questions about how this eel has been filmed. And I've got some footage from behind the scenes as it were of how you find such a rare creature, well, rare to us anyway, in our world. So this one was caught in the San Clemente Trench. San Clemente is one of the southernmost Channel Islands, about 50 miles off Los Angeles. And you trawl for about six hours, day and night, and uh, this has come up from 600 meters, so that's about 1,000 feet. You need a lot of cable, because of course it doesn't go straight down. That's the cod end trawl, which is a special canister at the end of the net. And its uh, contents are tipped into a bucket, essentially. And then we use a special filming tank has a really good water flow called a Chrysler. And this was the moment we were amazed to see this pelican eel. Sadly, and a lot of people have asked this, I can see in the comments, it doesn't survive very long. Some people have said, uh, is it the pressure? Actually, the pelican eel has a lot of adaptations to reduce all the air cavities. It hasn't got a swim bladder, it really got no gas at all inside it, so it's pretty immune to pressure changes. But it's the temperature as well. We try and keep this water cold. So it's semi-alive, unfortunately, and it's gonna last for a few hours, but we thought we'd, we'd better document it while it's in that fresh condition. Some of the first people to ever see them, because they had the gear to do deep trawls, were the Victorians, and they did it on uh, ships like HMS Challenger, which in the 1870s did a worldwide deep sea expedition. And these are some of their wonderful drawings, which they did about 150 years ago. A German scientist called William Marshall wrote in 1888, This strange monster, whose shape combines a spoon and a funnel, can do little more than wiggle along the ocean bed. Well, we hardly know much more than that, actually, even today. Um, but, uh, in fact, they're midwater animals, they don't live on the seabed. So if you trawl them, you, you can't really see their behaviour. And up until recently, people believed that the pelican eel was using its tail, which has a little glowing bioluminescent end. And they, perhaps it was using that as a lure and keeping its mouth open, dangling the tail over the top as an enticement for a fish to come near, and then it just snap. And then in 2018, an amazing submarine run by the Ribikov Foundation in the Azores saw for the first time that a pelican eel was actively hunting, which kind of disproves that theory of sitting waiting, although I guess that could be happening as well. Looking at that video, which I'll give you a link to, there's some amazing mouth shapes, changes in the way that the head of the pelican eel inflates when it's actively hunting. I put those head shapes from that video into a series like this and used it as a source of inspiration to try and understand, in my own sketches, how the pelican eel is sucking in seawater and able to manipulate its mouth into so many different wonderful shapes and uses it somehow to catch its prey by making a, a large scoop out of its pelican mouth. And once it's lured its prey inside its big mouth, it shuts it. 
it's, it's inflating with seawater, of course. And what that, I think, might be doing is to act like a net. It increases its chances of catching things. That was only in 2018, so shows how slowly the deep sea gives up its secrets. And, and there's just one last thing I want to show you, which is this x-ray done in the Smithsonian. It's part of a series of x-rays of fish. Really skillfully done by scientist Sandra Reardon from Smithsonian. But this one shows a fish inside the gulp reel, which is really interesting because a lot of people think that perhaps the big mouth was like a filter feeding thing, like blue whales. They plough through the water with their mouth open, just taking little creatures. But this x-ray shows that it takes quite big fish. So all in all, there's some pretty amazing things going on down there. And if you've watched this to the end, please can you subscribe, if you haven't already. And I'll try to uh, witter on more succinctly about some other marine creatures very soon.